Let's talk about Cushing syndrome. We're going to really dive deep in this here. I want you guys to make sure you completely nail this down once and for all. So how do you diagnose Cushing syndrome? You do a 24 hour urine cortisol excretion with a late night salivary cortisol assay and a low dose dexamethasone suppression test. These are all diagnostic workup tools you can use for Cushing syndrome. So the initial step with Cushing's is always to confirm hypercortisolism. Obviously, if you don't have high cortisol, it's not Cushing syndrome. So first things first, you do a late night salivary cortisol assay. Number two, a 24 hour urine free cortisol measurement and or an overnight low dose dexamethasone suppression test. So you always want to check their cortisol level, make sure they have hypercortisolism. And then you can do either step two or step three. So a 24 hour urine free cortisol measurement or an overnight low dose dexamethasone suppression. So two of these first line tests should be abnormal to establish the diagnosis of Cushing's. If one is abnormal, that doesn't clue you into Cushing's as the definitive diagnosis. You have to have two. If hypercortisolism is confirmed, next you want to do an ACTH level measurement. So you want to check the ACTH levels to see if it's Cushing's disease or Cushing syndrome. So something that is really important to know is that if you see an answer choice that says early morning cortisol measurements, these are basically useless in Cushing syndrome diagnosis. So this is never going to be the answer. You want to do either a late night salivary cortisol or a 24 hour urine free cortisol. Never just check the cortisol measurement in the morning. That's not going to be the correct answer for Cushing syndrome workup. So hopefully that helps, kind of gives you a little bit of a clue on things to watch for and common mistakes that students make all the time when they're working up Cushing syndrome.